Let's have a look at the Accounts Payable vendor invoices and the Accounts Payable workflow. So I'm going to go into the Accounts Payable workflows and you'll see that I've got a vendor invoice workflow here. If I have a look at the versions, I don't have any that are active, so none, none are going to come into play at this stage. Um, if I have a look at the workflow, What I'll see there is that I have a workflow with uh, invoice tolerances decision. So if I have a look at the settings on this, what I'll see is if the vendor invoice matching is successful, so if it's matching OK, then it's going to go and post the invoice. If the matching is not OK, then it's going to go for approval, for example. So let's enable the workflow and so in this case I'm going to, um, I've got this one, I'm going to mark it as active, so I'm going to activate the workflow. And so now we'll see it's active. So I'm going to go into Accounts Payable and let's put in a purchase order. So I'm going to put in a purchase order for our supplier, X300, and this one is going to be simple um, category base. Um, uh, purchase, so cleaning, it should be there, not sure why it's not picking it up, maybe it's a typo, so cleaning, we can specify the site and warehouse if we need, so quantity is one, and let's say it's 450 as the price, so this is 446 is the purchase order, so I'm going to confirm this one, and now I can go across to vendor invoices. So if I go to my open vendor invoices and go to my vendor invoice. So we'll put in our supplier invoice 110 for example. Now you'll notice that the matches is enabled so that we've got basic invoice matching enabled. So if I go and pick our purchase order, so 446, in this case I'm going to not change what I have on the purchase order, so it, therefore our matching will b match OK. So if I go to our matching details, you'll see that obviously it all matches OK. So in which case when I submit, I'm going to hit the submit button our invoice is in the system. Now if I'm quick enough to catch it before the workflow runs, I'll see in pending invoices then, um, and this is the one, so in pending invoices it's sitting there at the moment. Now I'll just pause the video because it'll take a minute for the workflow to run, but the workflow is going to run um, because the matching is OK, so we'll see the last status match is OK, then um, this is going to post the invoice. So I'll just pause the video. Alright, so the workflow is run, and so you'll see if I refresh this, my invoice is gone. And so if we come across to our uh, open vendor invoices, and if we have a look for invoices for that, account then I'll see that this invoice is in the system so invoice 110 um, so it's a posted invoice. So let's have a look at another example so I'm going to go into my purchase orders and let's do the same supplier and I'll put into there 221 that's fine again we'll use a procurement category so cleaning so we'll say one at 480 for example. So I'm going to confirm the purchase order. So our purchase order is in the system. So a few days later the invoice comes. So I'm going to go to my open vendor invoices and we'll put in a new invoice. So for that supplier, let me key it in. That supplier, so invoice uh, 200 for example and the supplier is saying it's for this order, so 447, so I'm going to pick that. Now this is the default from the purchase order, but our supplier is charging us a unit price of 510. Actually let me make that a little bigger because I think our tolerance, so let's make it 600 so we get a, a match discrepancy. So if we go and have a look at our matching 
then I've got a match discrepancy so we've we've got an issue there so I'm going to try to post this and um, submit it so it's submitted to the workflow and again if I come up to our pending vendor invoices we'll see our uh, invoice in here so I'm going to pause the video it'll take a minute for the workflow to run so the workflow is run on this one and so the issue was um, because it was matched you'll see that it's sitting still in the pending invoices waiting for approval so um, if you look at the history now this one had an issue because in my setup the uh, person that I've assigned it to has got a permissions issue but um, effectively if you look at the tracking you'll see that approval was started so it was going to send it to someone for approval um, but in this case that sort of allows us to use then the workflow to decide for example if there's some invoices that I want to allow go through um, or if there's a matching issue do I send it to someone else so I can allow someone to key them and then I can allow the workflow to route it to uh, someone to help me validate when there's an issue so in this case in the workflow the setting is fairly simple it's just whether the matching is successful or, or not obviously you can put additional considerations in there um, to determine how you route that or, or different routing options but that's a quick look at the vendor invoice uh, with a, a workflow enabled with matching